So it's been a little while since we've made a video here on the channel, 145 days exactly. But nine months ago, I made this video right here talking about the Deep Space Dad flat panel. It literally changed my astrophotography game overnight. No more fussing around with USB connectors and laying things down on top of my telescope and trying to position everything and messing with flat panel brightness and all that stuff. This thing is fully automatic and it just makes imaging easier, better results. And for the price of like a filter, you are going to improve and have so much more fun with your astrophotography. Trust me. So the biggest reason why I wanted to make this video again is that he actually has released a firmware that you can flash to this thing that will allow you to work with it and control it from the ASI Air Pro or ASI Air. That was one of the biggest questions and kind of downsides that people had whenever they made comments to the video that I made nine months ago. Now, one of the other things that they commented about was the fact that, hey, like, you know, these are available for order in England and stuff, but like a lot of people were kind of like reserved as far as buying from an overseas independent guy. Um, I can assure you that like this dude's customer service is top notch. I broke a board on my flat panel when I had a cable snag and it ripped the USB-C connector off. I had a new one in a week. Um, I had an issue with a rotator that I originally bought for the Red Cat 51. He said, hey, let's just upgrade you to the regular rotator. I had it like in a week or two. He does do bat shipping with DHL, so that way he can kind of like keep shipping costs down and it's probably, you know, a little bit easier for him to deal with and manage because he probably isn't getting orders every day. But I assure you, you will be taken care of. Like he does a fantastic job. I highly encourage you to go to the website and to his YouTube channel to check out some of the videos and stuff that he's made. Uh, the biggest thing that I would recommend if you end up going this route is to go ahead and pick up one with the integrated dew heater. I really wish that I would have done this because what it's going to do is it's going to clean up your wiring a lot so that way you don't have another dew strap wrapped around your you know refractor or whatever and then you're going to have to worry about another 12 volt cable feed and when you start adding extra accessories like this you know usb ports and things like power start to become a premium and if you're like an asi air customer you know you're going to be limited you don't want to like have to go into the route and start adding stuff now he does have different modules for power and for communications uh, usb and stuff if you are so interested in that good alternatives to like pegasus products so that way you can kind of get those usb3 ports and that power at like maybe a little bit of a better cost so again browse through the web website take a look and see what he has he's got a lot of good things to offer when i get my gear and I'm starting to get that itch again, or I wouldn't have made this video. I just updated Pics and Sight, so we're thinking things are things are kind of clicking up here. But this will be one of the first pieces of gear that I add back to my system for sure. Works with Nina, works with ASI Air. It's a set it and forget it system. You build things into your templates and your automated sequences. You build your times for your flats your dark flats, your brightnesses for all your filters, stores them all in memory, drag and drop into Nina, done, super easy and simple. So hopefully this will help some of you guys out and maybe get you over that hump if you were thinking about this or if you didn't know, now you do tell all your friends, ASI Air, automatic flat panel, ready to go. Appreciate all you guys for sticking around. Peace.